Hey everyone, my name is Koleji Kikonga and I'm the founder of Lokumu Podcast. Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know that this is my first YouTube video from Lokumu Podcast. Besides my audio podcast, uh, which I launched a few months ago in all major platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Amazon Music. So please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to leave a comment at the end of this video. And most importantly, like and share this video to friends and family to everyone basically anyway without taking much of your time let's get into it how does your mind works do you know how your mind works do you have control of your mind well before we go even further we first need to understand what is the mind the common mistake that many people make is that they think the mind is the brain that's not true and you are not even the mind you have the mind the mind it's something that was given to you you have the mind in possession the same with your brain you have a brain you are not the brain and the mind is not a function of the brain if you're struggling to understand this don't worry it's all going to make sense as we're moving forward and please do not skip any part of this video because i'm going to break it down for you to give you a more clear understanding of what i'm talking about so you don't want to miss any part of this video all right, here's a simple definition of the mind. The mind is that which allows you to experience life, both physical and non-physical, based on two different natures, which we call the dualistic nature. And without the mind, you would not be able to experience life. Now, when I said you are not even the mind, what I meant by that is that you are the awareness. You and I are what we call the presence. We are the ones experiencing life through our minds, you know based on our decisions and actions, whether they be good or bad. Once you understand that, you become more powerful and live your life more courageous and nothing will ever stop you because you're now looking at life from a higher perspective. You're no longer thinking that life happens to you, but you are the one that making life happen based on your decisions and actions, whether they be good or bad. You are the G.O.D. of your life. You are the generator and operator of your own destiny and that's the power of your mind and once you understand that and become more responsible of what goes on in your mind that is true mastery i'll give you a typical example many people usually say you know i'm hungry or i'm feeling hungry you know without knowing that they are not this body they are the ones experiencing hunger the same with pain you are not the pain you are experiencing pain for as long as you choose. Decision is one of the greatest power of your mind and no one can take that away from you. The moment anyone tries to take that away from you, you need to question that because taking away your right to choose and decide for yourself is basically taking away your life. If you can't choose or decide for yourself, then you become a robot. A robot cannot decide for itself unless the program that's inside the robot tells it to do whatever the controller wants it to do you know unfortunately that's the same thing taking place you know today in our society most of us our minds has been hijacked by you know by institutions and entertainment companies and and, and celebrities i have no hate on celebrities or institution or any entertainment company but what i'm saying is that some of them are just here to take advantage of your power to take advantage of you of, of the power of your mind because they understand how your mind works better than yourself now you live your life thinking that the life that you're living is your life but it's not your life it's based on someone else's agenda you know these people have such a high level of you know tactic that you wouldn't even know that you're being influenced by them. They have control of your life because they understand the power of your mind. They make choices for you. So imagine spending your whole life fighting for the wrong choices, fighting for things that you didn't choose, fighting for someone else's choices and agendas. Imagine that. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. Think about it and we shall continue on the next video. Please, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help me to grow this channel as we're growing together. And feel free to leave a comment below. And most importantly, like and share this video to friends and family. 
I shall see you in the next one. Peace.